Good Sunday morning, my friends. It is so good to be with you. I hope you're having a cup of coffee, getting ready for a big Sunday. Maybe you're going to church. Maybe you're going out with the kids, some sports. But one thing you should consider as I get you ready with kind of a fishing report and an outdoor report and a Baja report here this Sunday morning, one thing that you might consider is tonight there's another grunion run. It is observation only. So you're not allowed to touch the fish. You're not allowed to fish with the fish. But to take the kids down and allow them to see that spectacle of nature is really incredible. Now, of course, there's another one about the middle of the month, and we'll have them in May and June and July and August, September. But tonight, special night. So if you get a chance, you might want to consider coming down to a beach near you in Southern California. If you're down there in Baja, California, they run there also. It's really something to see. Now, fishing during grunion runs can be extraordinary because of course all of that mass of fish coming up on the beach is going to be followed by predators. Remember, it's easy to remember, food chain. The big ones come to eat the little ones. So when all that fish moves up on the beach, it gives you an extraordinary opportunity to catch a big yellowfin croaker, a halibut, some leopard sharks, there's so much that comes in and feeds on that. Remember, on observation only nights, you can't pick up a bait and use it. However, and this is a little, I've got to talk to the Department of Fish and Wildlife about this. We freeze grunion. When we're allowed to take them, we freeze them and keep them for a later time. If you had some of that and fished with it, I think that could really pay off for you. But I'm afraid that if a Department of Fish and Wildlife person were to come upon you and you had that, they might think that you grabbed one of the baits from the sea. So I'll talk to somebody about that and see, you know, I mean, you probably can have you know your bag there with some frozen grunion and be able to show them that the point is however that it can be really really good and things are getting more active you know i caught a halibut here in the surf just the other day i had a friend who fished bolsa chica area and had copious amounts of corbina yesterday he released them all he had some yellowfin croaker and a variety of other species really great fishing starting to happen right now and corbina fishing well, that's our bonefish. They are incredible. They're in the real shallow area. I mean, you'll be amazed to see them right at your feet. In fact, if you wade out into the water like I do, you'll feel them bump into your legs sometimes. So they're right there. And the way to get a bait in front of those fish is to anticipate the direction they're moving in. So if you see them swimming this way, you're gonna wanna beeline up here and toss that bait so they come and grab your sand crab or whatever it is you're fishing with. Ghost shrimp, really, really good. Sand crabs, really, really good. There's sand crabs on the beaches now. That is one of your best baits. Light line, a really good idea. Six pound, you get to experience a real battle with Corvina. And they are kind of wily critters, discriminating feeders. So you're gonna wanna bring that monofilament down. Fish fluorocarbon, opsin fluorocarbon gives you a huge advantage. Carolina rig. And remember, sometimes you can overcast if you want to target Corvina. And more and more of those are starting to move in on our beaches. So that is really, really good news. I've got to make a comment about all of you who are leaving comments on our YouTube channel. Our community is growing. I deeply appreciate it. When you subscribe or get somebody else to subscribe, when you leave a comment, it really, really helps us to grow. And we continue to grow at a rapid pace. And I thank you so very much for that. I was down in Baja. My friend Dino, who checks in regularly over there on YouTube, uh, he gave me a spot down in Baja to fish. I screwed it up and didn't fish the right beach. But we still caught some perch. We had an extraordinary experience. I highly recommend you look at our Baja road trip. It was a lot of fun. We stopped in in Tecate, Rosarito, Ensenada, and down there around Colinette. And it was really, really fun. The, Good news is that this just means I've got to go back to Baja. And there was other folks on there. There was a gentleman who told the story about filling a bucket full of sand crabs and perch and having such great experience and taking a trout rod down there and fly lining sand crabs and just having a ball with the perch. He also fished another area that I need to go back and hit. And that's the good news. If I can get back to Baja, that'll be great. Speaking of Baja, I just a second ago talked to Arnie from Arnie Sword Fishing. He runs out of Ensenada and he's had some big yellowtail here recently. Nice big forks. Mostly he's been catching them on the Troll Rapala. 
doing really, really well down there. Take a look at some of those fish. I mean, they're gorgeous, really nice big forks. He's on his way out right now. He said if he does anything at all, he'll let me know. So perhaps an update a little later today. If Arnie does anything, we'll keep you in touch with that for sure. Really, really looking good down there. And he will also, on Tuesday, has plans anyway, to go offshore and look for some bluefin. And we know that the bluefin are there. We had that score on the Player Supreme. Uh, Bobby Tav was on here from the Top Gun 80, talking about the whale boats, seeing lots of bluefin on their way up from the lagoons of Baja, California. Several other boats finding fish outside of the 302. The Old Glory had fish recently. It really looks like it's gonna be another banner year for BFT. Now, if I could just bounce you across the border one more time, I wanna to talk to you about something that's in the very near future. I'll be announcing it here very, very shortly. But my friend Gerardo Delgado at the Del Mar Inn in Rosarito Beach is constructing this nice, beautiful bar and he's got this beautiful grill and he's going to be inviting fishermen who fish in Mexico and that part of Baja, like Ensenada, Rosarito, anywhere around there, to bring their catch to the Del Mar Inn and he'll cook it for you. He'll put it on the grill and cook it up. And we are gonna kick it off with a podcast and we're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna use that grill and we're gonna do a live podcast while people are enjoying that and you are gonna be invited, no question about it. Whether you come down for one day, whether you come down for the entire weekend or you make it a four day thing, I'll be there, I'll help you plan your fishing vacation or whatever else you want to do and then we're going to have that pool party with uh, grilled fish it's going to be an exceptional day don't have the date yet i'll talk to gerardo a little bit later today and hopefully we'll get that date for you very very soon and also we're going to do a similar kind of thing here probably down there at anderson and pch we're going to have a surf fishing day here very very soon free of charge Come on down with the kids. We'll have some Daiwa rods and reels for you to use. Or if you just want to chat, have a cup of coffee, catch a fish, whatever it is you want to do, we're going to do that very soon. And I'll have that date for you also very, very soon. All right, so taking a look around San Diego, of course, there's that bluefin. We're concentrating on that and focusing a lot on that. That looks good. There's some yellowtail breezing around. The boats are running and gunning for yellowtail at the Coronado Islands and some other areas also. That hasn't really taken off yet, but it's starting to head in the right direction. And moving up the coast, there's some sand bass and halibut, good rock fishing, good white fishing. Uh, moving up there to the Ventura area, there's been a few halibut, even some white sea bass taken here recently. That is all looking really, really good. We have a charter on board, uh, the Endeavor, with uh, my good friend up there, Tucker McCombs, out of Ventura Sword Fishing. And man, I gotta tell you, I am so stoked. That one is sold out. Sorry about that. Then we have a June trip on board the Amigo. Two spots left on that one. Those are going to be some great sea bass trips. And if not, there's going to be yellowtail somewhere. And if not, there's going to be bluefin probably out on Tanner Bay. So I'm really excited. And we are selling out on all our trips. We have a two-day trip on the Pride leaving July the 5th. That's going to be a great one. That one has about six spots left. That's going to fill really, really fast. So Again, if you want to get our charter list, just call that, or I'm sorry, text that number right there, 657-227-6459, and I'll send you the list, and you can make a choice and get on a trip with us. Again, we're really selling out early this year, and I'm thankful to all of you for that. It's looking really, really good. Well, it's a little chilly, no question about that. But it is a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. We'll be keeping our eyes on the Baja situation, talking to Arnie later on, San Diego. We'll be checking in with our friends up there at Ventura Sword Fishing, 22nd Street Landing. We'll be doing all of that and more. So I wish you a beautiful Sunday today. Hope you get to spend it with family and friends. And I hope you get to wet a line really, really soon. Don't forget, stay tuned in the very near future. We'll have that Baja podcast grill extravaganza at the Del Mar Inn in Rosarito Beach. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'll have that date for you shortly. And then we'll have that get together here on the beach. We're going to be surf fishing, learning a little bit more about surf fishing, and just plain having a good time. All right. 
appreciate all you do to help Friedman Adventures grow. If you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, we deeply appreciate it. Leave a comment. That helps us. Smash the like buttons. That's all really, really good. Get somebody to subscribe today, and you have all my thanks. Take care, my friends. We'll see you again soon right here for another update from Friedman Adventures.